Hello everyone, welcome to this episode of Open House. I'm your DOTM designer, Leon Luo from Free Space Intent. This location is in Simei and it's a condominium unit. Okay, so being on the highest floor, the unit actually receives a lot of sunlight. And uh, that being said, we have to take careful consideration into selecting laminates. Because the last thing we want is discoloration from the laminates due to UV exposure. Interestingly, this client actually I did their house eight years ago. It's the exact same house. Okay, so with the same homeowners and same property to, to redesign, there's definitely a certain level of stress because this client has been here for so many years and to inject this new life to the same space, to the same homeowners, I think it's something very, very different from, from designing a space for a client who just gotten the property. Being knowing what they needed before and understanding that they have actually progressed in their life, you know, having a family right now. So they need more storage space, more space for, for the kids as the kids grow up. And all these um, requirements pretty much comes quite naturally, like understanding that what the clients need. And of course, one of the main aesthetic brief from the client is, is the word eucalyptus. We tried to fit in a color theme and try to fill in aesthetics that can actually fulfill this requirement. Pretty exciting to, to operate on the same property again, yeah, a second time, and also give it a new life and give it a new kind of new functions to the spaces. A few of the inspirations will be the color scheme. So colors that I've used are mainly greens and earthy colors. And of course the greens are not the super bright or neon greens. They are more towards a pastel shade, a bit more muted, which gives you a very calming feeling. Shape-wise, I think being eucalyptus, something from nature, I felt things shouldn't have too much edges. Things should be a bit curvy, to have a bit of flow in the forms. So the kitchen was actually consists of a kitchen area and laundry yard area and also utility room area. When I re-looked into, into the floor plan, I took the opportunity to um, explore opening up the whole space. So it means hacking through from kitchen to yard to utility. After so many years, the homeowners have also um, fully understand what they really need functionally. Part of it would be the dish rack, which in the past is pretty hard to assess um, since every time it's, it's always positioned at a higher level. So this time around, I actually introduced this um, dish rack that can be able to be put down to a lower level. For the kids' room, it's actually not very big, but we have to fit in three requirements, which is the study space, the sleeping space, and also the storage space. Given the high volume ceiling, I took advantage of it and make it into a bunk bed kind of a setup. There's a bed on top, and then there's a storage wardrobe space below, and also fully utilizing all the steps as storages, giving a, a small little corner for, for study area. So back then, we actually worked with what the developer has given us. So this time around, things has worn out and there's also plans to redo the wardrobe. We try to maximize storage on one, one end of the wall of the room. So I think it turns out pretty well that it actually fulfills um, two requirements. One is additional storage space in the wardrobe. Uh, secondly, is giving the, the room a dedicated study table so where the homeowner can actually use it for work from home situations. So over the years, um, I'm pretty sure there's always, there can be a change of taste, uh, a maturity of thinking towards um, design. And of course, in the past, I used to do things that are more radical. And right now, of course, there's still this element of visual impact. 
I think I have met the homeowner's expectations of this project. One of the biggest challenge is that I was down with COVID in the midst of this renovation. I think we are very blessed that we have a group of regular contractors that we always work with who has been having our back as well. Eventually what we are designing, other than looking nice, I think the space must really function for the people using it.